Not every day that you see people make it their mission to help another person get a head start in life, but that's exactly what one global nonprofit is doing for Kentucky foster kids. Wave News reporter Alina Noakes has more on the mission of the first car project and their first ever car giveaway. Well, for many kids aging out of the foster care system, it, a first car is hard to come by, making it another obstacle to overcome as they try to get on their own two feet. And if there's anyone who can help remove that barrier, it's Louisville's car community. The mission is in the name, the First Car Project, an effort to get Kentucky foster kids in the driver's seat of life. It's a passion project for the nonprofit's board members, including Ashley Borden and her husband, who founded the Cars in the Commons event back in 2021. As soon as we got this project, we're like, this is the perfect place because the Louisville car scene is incredible. And it's that incredible community that makes the nonprofit's work possible, relying almost solely on the time and donations donations of local mechanics to refurbish donated cars for the cause. On Saturday, the first car project was able to gift those refurbished cars to two Kentucky teens, Von Moss and Aaliyah Lathry, both beginning their journey out of foster care and into a life of independence. I never really come caring from like a wealthy family or a family that had a lot of access to money. So, you know, financially, uh, financial problems, you know, it was a big thing for me growing up. 19 year old Von Moss lives in Owensboro, Kentucky. Now one year post graduation, he's working at an academy, relying on other people to get him back and forth to work. But that all changed when he got the keys to his new ride. It's not just going to work and going to get a job like that's boring. These are 18 and 19 year old kids. They need to have access to go to their friend's house, you know, go to the movies, go to the park, like have a life besides, you know, just going to work and school and home. It honestly means a lot, you know, because, you know, you know, people only know me for a few months, you know, and they treat me like I'm their family, you know, so it's like, it's kind of, you know, it, it gives you hope in the world, you know, because there's still good people out there. Like Moss, life hasn't been easy for 18-year-old Lathry, but she's working to create a better one going forward. I started from nothing. Like, I, I've lived things I wish I didn't, but I am strong and I'm capable of going through it and fighting my way to be what I want to be. Saturday, she drove drove away in a refurbished 2001 Toyota Camry with many of the bells and whistles of a 2024 model and she's ready to begin working towards a career in education and cosmetology. What they're doing is awesome because like not everybody gets the opportunity to start off. Some people don't get the opportunity to get a job. Don't Some people still don't have transportation at the age of 50 and it's just a blessing to be able to have a car from somebody. The nonprofit is also taking care of the two recipients car insurance for the first six months. They hope to partner with the state in taking care of the title and tax fees as well. And of course, they want to keep growing and give away even more cars in the future. Alina Noakes, Wave News. Thanks, Alina.